let's get to the next movie, um, Patterson. I wanted to. I, I had to see this movie, and one oh, of the man, reasons I wanted to see this movie because it was the opposite of Transformers. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I kind of had to. I had to balance the scale. And Patterson is a tiny little character piece by Jim Jarmusch. If, am I saying his name right, Aaron? Jim Jarmusch. Uh, or is it Jim Jarmusch? I've heard it pronounced <laughs> yeah. a million ways. Just like my own name. Uh, yes. So um, it's basically Adam Driver is a, um, a bus driver for Patterson, New Jersey, but his name is also Patterson. And uh, it's a week in his life. And what I loved about this movie is it's a quiet, small film. It's a character study. He writes poetry on his breaks and, you know, when he's at home. And what this film does is the same thing, if you remember the movie Boyhood did. What it does is it finds meaning in those small moments of your lives, those quiet uh, moments in everyday life because his day is pretty much the same. He goes to work, he drives the bus, he comes home, he walks the dog, he goes to the bar for one beer. And, you know, when you describe a movie like that, you're like, well, God, this sounds mind numbingly boring. And it isn't because it's so engaging and it's such a slice of real life that, you know, you're. Um, you're really engaged when you watch these characters, like because they just always feel real and fleshed out. And it's ultimately the type of movies like this is never going to find a giant audience. This movie, but it's a great little character piece, a little character drama. And um, he wrote the treatment for the film almost 20 years ago, which I love. Like the fact that you know artists continually uh, have stuff in their trunks that they they pull out that you know eventually can get made. And um, the conversations between two construction workers uh, in the bus was a real conversation that he overheard at a bar. And everything feels organic and real in this movie. And even though it's tiny, it's small, it's character driven, not a lot happens. It's a slow burn, but it everything has that kind of meaning in a small mundane way the it's the same type of theme is, is finding meaning in those mon- mundane um, quiet moments of your life so it's it, it's it's the i like i said it's the opposite of transformers and it's really worth uh it's worth your time to check out and it is on one of the streaming services right now well the thing that like this movie they released it in uh november they were trying to get some oscar push from it Right. Um, and it, yeah, that, that that's a bit of a stretch, though. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's not that. No, it's not. It's not Oscar worthy. It's a. It's a. It's a. You know, the best way to describe it is it, it's it's a good Jim Jarmusch film. <laughs> which know. is it? Which is an acquired taste. Yes, he's it is. an acquired uh-huh. taste. Do, are there any of his films, David, that stick out for you? That that you know, he made Ghost Dog. Yeah, Down Broken. by Law, right? It's so. Was that, I, I think that the was the other one. I'm trying to think, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. You made that no, you did, yeah. In yeah, 1986. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with Roberto Benigni being weird. And, yeah. He's able to do that. I mean, like he did Ghost Dog: The Way of the Samurai, which I really thought was fascinating. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, but then sometimes he can, you know, Broken Flowers is interesting, but uh, yeah. he sometimes can go into the meander. Oh sure, the yeah. Meander side but of town. It's, it's weird because sometimes some directors you know they can go into meandering but in a good way almost where it's mm-hmm. yeah you're where still it's engaged. it's his voice like the meandering is like well it wouldn't be a jim jarmusch film if it didn't meander yeah. and uh, and go into these different places like there there's a couple times where he plays with the um the tenets of filmmaking which are really fun like he's walking his dog and like a bunch of gangbangers drive him is like oh what kind of dog is that oh man that's a that's a really uh, nice dog, and you got to make sure that might get dog jacked, you know. So you think, okay, later on the dog's going to get kidnapped, but it never does. <laughs> so, so like things like that, where you have these moments of like misdirection that he deliberately mm-hmm. puts in are, are fun too. The, but then Ghost Dog would have saved the dog. So sure, yeah, well, yeah, Ghost, yeah. but that like I think <laughs> Ghost Dog is the most of of his films that has the m- most like. Solid through lines for him for a Jim Jarmusch movie. Yes, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. this uh-huh. person's introduced, they're going to become a thing later. You've got a samurai. You've got the mob. You've got the you've mob. Got, yeah. There's a crime thing. He's gonna, right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like um, it follows a uh, a story for sure. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Did you watch that on demand? I did on the streaming service. Okay. So.